Hey everyone, welcome to Liftoff, the channel where we provide SpaceX news and updates and also update you on important developments in the space race. In this episode, we have updates about SpaceX next rideshare mission, Starlink's alarming growth rates, and interesting video for Falcon 9 landing. But before we move on on the updates, please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoy your time with us, please like us and share. Musk furious with regulations SpaceX was seconds away from launching its 20th mission of the year, Tuesday, when the countdown was halted due to an aircraft entering the launch range, delaying the mission by at least a day. Elon Musk took to Twitter to voice his frustration about the delay, reiterating prior criticism he has made about regulations around the business of launching rockets. An aircraft entered the keep-out zone which is unreasonably gigantic," Musk wrote in a tweet. There is simply no way that humanity can become a space-faring civilization without a major regulatory reform. The current regulatory system is broken," he added. Musk has retouched up his criticism of launch regulations this year. With a SpaceX firing off Falcon 9 rockets at a blistering pace, with launches going up an average of every nine days, and also flying multiple development tests of its Starship prototype rockets. After a Starship test was delayed in January, Musk similarly criticized the Federal Aviation Administration for how it handles launch regulations. Unlike its aircraft division, which is fine, the FAA space division has fundamentally broke regulatory structure, Musk wrote then. Their rules are meant for a handful of expandable launches per year, from a few government facilities. Under those rules, humanity will never get to Mars. The FAA has internally pushed back on SpaceX next-generation rocket launches after the company violated its launch license with the authorized test flight of Starship prototype SN8 in December. Since then, the FAA says SpaceX has modified their procedures effectively and earlier this month testified before Congress about efforts to streamline launch regulations and rules. Although he's publicly criticized regulators, Musk has also stated that 99.9% .9 of time I agree with regulators. On rare occasions, we disagree. This is almost always due to new technologies that pass regulations didn't anticipate, Musk said in April. A safe return SpaceX's latest rocket landing on a drone ship was so smooth that if you blink while watching the video, you could miss the touchdown. SpaceX posted the five-second clip on Twitter on June 21st. In the video, a Falcon 9 rocket's first stage successfully kisses the deck of the drone ship on June 17th off the coast of eastern Florida. Minutes before, the rocket successfully boosted the GPS-3 SV-05 navigation satellite to orbit for the company's 19th launch of the year from the Space Coast. If the video zipped by a little fast for you, SpaceX also released some high-definition still shots on Twitter. SpaceX also posted more views of the mission taken from orbit, showing the Falcon 9 second-stage Merlin engine, backcropped by Earth and from the launch area at a recently named Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, showing the Falcon 9 soaring high in a second after liftoff. The GPS-3 SV-05 satellite mission is the second SpaceX mission so far in June, following the launch of broadband satellite for Sirius XM on June 6th. It also was the fourth GPS satellite delivery by SpaceX for the US military after three previous GPS-3 missions also launched on Falcon 9 rockets. Another GPS-3 satellite launched in August 2019 on United Launch Alliance final flight of Delta IV medium rocket. The generation of upgraded GPS satellites includes more robust anti-jamming capabilities and more accurate signals to eventually replace the capabilities of navigational satellites that are aging in orbit after launching two decades ago, according to manufacturer Lockheed Martin. Starlink Extremely Fast Growth Rate 
Elon Musk on Tuesday said SpaceX satellites internet network Starlink recently passed near 70,000 active users and expect fast-paced growth in the year ahead. We are on our way to having a few hundred thousand users, possibly over 500,000 users, within 12 months, Musk said, speaking virtually at a Mobile World Congress trade show in Barcelona, Spain. Starlink is the company's capital-intensive project to build an interconnected internet network with thousands of satellites, known in the space industry as Constellation, designed to deliver high-speed internet to customers anywhere on the planet. SpaceX first rolled out the service with a better program for selected customers for only $99 a month, and in the past year has sought regulatory approval to test the networking in flight and expand the service to a large moving vehicles, like ships and trucks. It's now the world's largest satellite constellation, with more than 1,500 Starlink satellites launched to orbit to date. SpaceX last month outed that Starlink has received more than 500,000 orders and deposits so far to date. Although those may not materialize into users, Starlink user base has grown from about 10,000 users in February to Musk saying that this month it passed the strategically notable number of 69,400 active users. The low altitude of SpaceX satellites decreased the latency in its service compared to traditional satellite service, which Musk emphasized. Latency is amount of delay in an internet network, defining how much time it takes a signal to travel back and forth from a destination. Latency and download speed are key measures for an internet service provider. The latency for a Starlink system is similar to latency for ground-based fiber and 5G, so we are expecting to get latency down under 20 milliseconds, Musk said. The company is losing money on the satellite antennas that it provides to customers, Musk said, as the hardware costs near $1,300 each, but SpaceX charges users $499. We're working on a next-generation terminal that provides the same level of capability, roughly same level capability but cost a lot less, Musk said. As company leadership has previously stated, Musk estimates Starlink may cost SpaceX between $5 billion and $10 billion to become fully operational and then as much as $20 billion to $30 billion in investment over the long term. But SpaceX believes it can tap an even larger market, estimating Starlink could bring in as much as $30 billion a year, or about 10 times the annual revenue of its rocket launching business. Starlink is operational now in about 12 countries, and more are being added every month, Musk noted. We have two quite significant partnerships with a major country, telecommunication companies, that I'd like to be able to announce now, but we defer to our partnership to make an announcement, Musk said. And we are discussing with several others to provide Starlink access. SpaceX is getting closer to launching next-generation versions of Starlink satellites. We're getting close to launch Satellite 1.5, which has laser intern satellite links, and that'll be used especially for continuous connectivity over the Arctic and Antarctic regions, Musk said. Next year, we'll start launching versions 2 of our satellites, which will be significantly more capable. That's it for today's episode. Thank you for joining us. Please like us and hit subscribe button so we can notify you when the next episode is available. Until next time, it's bye for now from all of us at Liftoff.